Mugman, come in. Yo, Mugman Nation. Need I say more? Hey, shouts out to Fulcrum for that one. I love that guy. We are back with another banger video today, guys. We will be beating Cuphead with only the Lobber. No charms, no specials, Lobber only. And you guys already know we're going to be doing this on Expert. No DLC in this video once again. It will be a separate video because, man, that's a whole different game. I can make a whole video just on that. And I will be doing that. Also, thank you guys so much for the views of the subscribers. We hit 3K subscribers while I was at at TwitchCon. Thank you so much. I can't thank you all enough. Thank you, Mugman Nation. Shouts out, you guys. I appreciate it. Let's get started. Now, at this point, you probably know what the first boss of Isle 1 is. It is the Root Pack, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, honestly. It is one of the easiest bosses in the game. All you have to do is jump over the mud worms that this man spits at you. You have to dodge the tears by walking left or right during the onion phase, and then during the final phase, you just dodge the carrots and the beams he shoots out of his mind. I don't need to go into details on this boss guys it's too easy on pizza bro hey Ribby and Croaks is the second boss of Isle 1, and it was a little tough just because Ribby and Croaks on Expert isn't the easiest thing in the world to do. The first phase, you have to dodge the Hadoukens. You know, someone informed me they were Hadoukens in the last challenge. They made it very clear it was a reference to Street Fighter, so I'm gonna call them Hadoukens from now on. And the little, and also had the little imps, but the lobber was great for taking those imps out. They just one shot them. You could set little lobber traps for them, so when they spawn, they would just get destroyed. The second phase, not bad at all, in my opinion. It is easy money, it is free for a guy like me. You just dodge the Hadoukens, the little planets, and Croaks just blowing at you non-stop. Not hard at all. The third phase is iffy. If I, got, if I got good RNG, I'd be fine, but I have speedrunner brain, so I'm just trying to do this as fast as possible. So if I was a little patient, I'd probably get in this first try, but, you know, I, I do die one time for the one time. However, Lobber was not bad, and when I had Snake, I was able to clear it. Guys, I always want to say real quick, it's, it's Snake. It's not a frog. People keep telling me it's a frog in the comments, but it's not. It's a snake. Debate me right now in the comments. Check the Wikipedia, it's a snake, guys. Other than that, the boss is easy. Easy game, easy life, easy money. You can go use Lava and Green Croaks. It's not a bad weapon to use at all, okay? Easy. Okay, that's not bad. We have now made it to one of the easier bosses, Grippy Legrand. So, ain't hey, not much to say about this. He jumps around. I use my lobber. He uses his giant head attack. I use my lobber. He uses the giant fist attack. Oh, surprise, surprise. I use my lobber. I'm lobbing over here. Hey, I'm in Cuphead and I'm lobbing. And then he pulls out the giant gravestone attack. And guess what? I keep lobbing. And I lob it until Grippy Legrand is dead. R.I.P. Grippy Legrand. R.I.P. I guess why it's a tombstone. I thought Cagney Carnation was actually going to be a lot harder because, you know, the twist up very variation of this challenge was pretty hard with candy carnation but the lobber was actually pretty dang good for this i take me out those little munchers in the first phase they would just one shot it and i could just keep jumping and set little lobber traps and they'd like they'd be taken care of instantly the second phase was easier than the first just because he only has like three attacks he has a stretchy attack the boomerang attack and the nut attack where cagney just shoots his nut at you or her nut i don't know their nut the final phase is also really easy i mean i honestly fought this boss like count times already so i'm pretty used to this final phase you know i have that trick where i jump and use my ex to dodge the vines a very useful trick you can use that with any weapon maybe maybe just do these challenges i'm actually getting pretty good at this game huh maybe i'll be the best in the world one day what do you guys think let me know in the comments what's up real quick i'm focusing up easy money Baroness Von Bonbon bon was the first roadblock in this run. The, the first three phases weren't hard. She would just send her candy lackeys to handle her business, and I will just destroy them. Honestly, the lobber was pretty good, you know, for these first three phases. I was She was just sending them out, and I would just take them out. Kind of disrespectful for her, you know, just saying these guys to their death, but you know, whatever. I'm not, a, I'm not a Baroness. The final phase was the hardest part because you had to keep moving, and you had to keep hitting her, but the problem was you had to be right underneath her to hit her and i had to dodge the head she was trying to give me she was trying so hard to give me her head oh come on I wish you would I wish you would like get the hint that I don't want her head and that she would just stop trying. So please, please, Baroness Von Bonbon, stop giving me head. Please, please. But I do deny her head and I'm able to lob my balls at her and finish her off for good. Damn it. Ah, there we go. Let's go, baby. That's how it's done. 
Easy money. Beppy the Clown wasn't too hard. I beat Beppy in literally like two tries. Phase one, he's just jerking off in his bumper car, and I just keep lobbing my little balls at him, and he flies out of the bumper car. Phase two, I just shoot his big head with the lobber and take out the dogs, and of course, I watch out for that roller coaster. Can't get hit by that. Never, never, never. The third phase, you just stand underneath him and just hold down the shoot button. You can do this with whatever weapon you're using. It doesn't have to be the lobber. It's kind of a universal, like, technique you can do. Easiest phase in the game, I am. Oh, just do this and you'll beat it every time. The fourth phase was a little hard because I had to dodge the penguin balls that were being thrown at me. But if I was able to shoot them with my own balls from the lobber first, I would win. It would take the penguins out really quickly. It was pretty nice. Easy boss, easy game, easy life. Like, come on, guys. Need I say more? Easy challenge. The first try. Wow. Go use lobber for Grim Matchstick right now. Go, go, go. If you're going to fight Grim Matchstick, equip the lobber, please. Like, I beg of you. I used to have trouble with Grim. I didn't think I, it would make this boss this easy. I was able to beat him with this one simple trick. Just equip the lobber. I first tried him faster than I ever have. I And I hate this stupid dragon. Please, guys, if you are having trouble with Grim Matchstick, just go equip the lobber. It's only like five coins. Go to a running gun or something and just go use the lobber. Come on, it'll make this boss so much easier. I don't want to hear anyone else complaining about the Grim Magic when Lobber exists. Please, just go use it. Please. That was so easy. That was the easiest boss ever with Lobber. Are you kidding me? My Girl Rumor Honey Bomb's looking better than ever. And we're going to start off with the first phase, or as I like to call it, the Oi, Oi, Oi phase, because the guy comes out and goes, Oi, Oi, Oi. And it's super easy with the Lobber. Just like every other phase in this game, just lob at it, and you just dodge his spikes he throws at you. The second phase has three different attacks, but I only got a couple of them because I actually beat Rumor Honey Bombs on my second try using the Lobber. Great weapon to use. Would recommend. I got the ball attack and the rocket attack, both very easy to get through and dodge. I get to the final phase and i'm about to first try it but as you can see here i get absolutely destroyed by platform rng guys this death is not my fault please believe me i'm good at this game what am i supposed to do that's the only way they can stop me is that they take away my platforms but don't worry i make it right back to the final phase and i'm going to close it out this time because the platforms were in my favor Are they actually oh there we go rumor honey bomb second try not bad. Sally's stage play is probably the most forgettable boss in this run, but we still have to do it because, uh, you know me, I'm going to beat every boss. Have to say, though, very easy boss with the lobber. Like, you just stand in front of her and just keep firing the lobber. You know, just pass her attacks. She, she has like, the fan attack, the jump attack, all these other weird attacks she does. During the second phase, she just, can be, she just has, like, an added attack during the rat attack. And again, you just stand in front of her and just keep firing the lobber. Nothing much to say here. I just want to take a second and say a lot of people told me the lobber was the worst weapon in the game but so far it seems like one of the best it has great damage it has a great ex and honestly it's worked on every boss so far except for like a select few and even then it still wasn't too bad like the hardest boss so far was bon bon it took me like four tries five tries to beat i have to say though sally stage play definitely wasn't the best for the lobber just because of the last phase but other than that i give it the seal of approval guys like i said before go get yourself the lobber guys it's only five coins come on you can get five coins just do a running gun or something if I could eat, oh, there we go, eight. There we go. Not bad. Sally Stage play done. Let's go. Next, we are on the German rat, Werner Vermin himself. And honestly, guys, I'm so sorry that so far this video has been so short. The lobber is goaded. This weapon is really, really good. I can't get over it. Like, I've been first trying all these bosses. I think Werner Worm was second try. You know, the first phase, I'm just dodging the bombs. I'm dodging all the stuff he's throwing at me. But, you know, I just keep lobbing. I keep doing my thing. The good thing about bosses like this is I can just hit them no matter what I'm doing. Like, during the second phase, look how fast I clear this. I'm not going to do any skips. Check this out. I'm just going to keep using my lobber, using my EX. And I think I skip a little forward ahead right here of, like, one little thing. But I take this boss, I take this phase down, like, just like a... 15 seconds maybe use the lobber for warner wormant guys it's honestly pretty good and check out this final phase right here no cuts i'm just gonna use my exes and use my lobber it does a lot of damage and it's right above me i don't have to do anything every shot's gonna hit one of the easiest bosses in the game if you use lobber guys go try it out right now on warner wormant if you like okay go go mess that german right up easy money second try warner wormant now 
Hey, Lobber's not that hard. Lobber's pretty good. Captain Brinybeard is actually an exception to what I just said. Same concept as Baroness Von Bonbon. He's just above you, and it's hard to shoot him because you have to, like, turn around and shoot, and then you lose damage. And then, you know, when you're dodging and stuff like that, you have to stay right underneath him to do as much damage as you can. You're not going to do damage in either way. But, honestly, that's about the only real challenging thing about this boss. His attacks are not hard to dodge. The shark attack, the octopus attack, the dog attack. Easy money for you guy like you guys. Guys, I believe in you guys. You can you can beat this boss first try. I know you can. And you will also have plenty of EXs because the little peas he shoots at you. There were a few hiccups here and there. Oh. But eventually, I did manage to make it to the final phase, even, like, despite it being a little challenging. And honestly, the final phase wasn't that hard. Like, I, I, I just used the law, bro. It was pretty sweet. You can shoot his mouth. You can just shoot right inside. You want to aim for the uvula or whatever it is. I think I die, like, one time. And then I think I finished Captain Brinybeard around, like, my fourth or fifth try. Not hard at all. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Oh, my goodness. Awesome, boss. I love you, Captain Brinybeard. Not so awesome with the lobber. Maybe maybe go back and use Twist Up or something. You know, we had fun with that, didn't we? <laughs> there you go. Not bad. Captain Brinybeard, down. The lobber for the Phantom Express kind of sucked, in my opinion. The first phase was challenging because of the eyeballs. They were kind of hard to take out with the lobber. hard but you know i did eventually realize i could just stand in one spot and just use the lobber i adapted and i just stood there and i just shot the lobber and i was able just to bonk the eyes every time and take them out you know it made that phase really easy once i figured that out the second phase wasn't terrible either but i wasn't able to take out those pumpkin things so it was kind of annoying having my cart just going left and right the entire time because you know they dropped those pink bricks but other than that not too bad i just had to stand underneath him and just shoot up at his head wherever his head was not not too advanced you know the third phase wasn't that bad either. It was actually really easy. You can set these lobber traps up so they can just get hit every time. They're very easy to hit. You just jump up and down a bunch of times. The only roadblock I had for phase three was the ghost of some once in a while they would hit the car and then drag me to the left or the right. Again, messing up my placement, you know? Oh, final phase of Ph Phantom Express actually seemed like one of the hardest on paper, but it was probably the easiest phase of the three. It only took me two tries to beat Phantom Express. I would just wait until I was underneath him, and then I'd parry the little light bulb on his tail. Then I would just go and lob my balls at his heart. Lobber was okay for this boss, but I would recommend bringing a second gun like the pea shooter maybe or the round bow. Go try it out. Hey, there we go. Phantom Express cleared, baby. We're making great time right now. We're almost done. We have finally made it to Big Daddy Dice. And you know what? I started off by rolling a one because I had the genius idea of doing Whiskey Troop for the first time, you know, for the lava run. You'd think it'd work out. You know, the whiskey glass and the martini, they dropped like flies. Super easy. But check this out. With the lava, you're unable to actually hit the whiskey bottle unless you jump over it and, like, get a single lava over. Wait. How do I hit the whiskey? Bro, wait, What? The martini glass is taking all the balls for him. Like, get the heck out of the way, man. Let it, let me hit the whiskey. Let me hit the whiskey bottle. I didn't see this one coming. <laughs> like, I, I couldn't believe this is the one thing, like, stopping me. I eventually do beat it, but next attempt, I decided to hit the cigar because I feel like it'd be a lot easier, you know? The cigar was really easy. Just lob and dodge the fire. Not much else to this boss. Easy money, not bad. The second boss is Pip and Dot, and I just run on the conveyor belt and dodge the spikes, and I just keep shooting your lobber. It's nice because the conveyor belt's going away, so it makes it a little bit easier to keep running and do using your lobber because you don't have to run back at all. You basically just run forward and then use the conveyor belt to go back. I'm a one HP dreamer. I'm a one HP dreamer. And then the next boss is Mango Cena. I don't got to say anything. This is all you got to do. Just underneath him. Uh, I'm just going to skip this thing real quick. We are now on to Big Daddy Dice himself. And just like any other King Dice boss fight, you just parry the cards and shoot. It's not hard at all. Honestly, from playing Cuphead so much and doing these trials, I honestly believe King Dice is one of the easier bosses in the game once you get him down and once you know which bosses to do. The, 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 the way of beating the final phase is literally the same with every weapon. You parry the cards and shoot up. But I hate hate seeing daddy dice go down because he is one of my favorite characters but hey you know i gotta do what i gotta do hey easy money king dice down 
we are finally at the end of our quest. We are going to be fighting the devil himself. And I tell you what, guys, Lobber, mwah, chef's kiss. It was made for this boss. All you have to do is stand underneath him and dodge his attacks. Obviously, I don't do a good at dodging that attack right there. But check it out. The spider attack, you can set up some lobbers for him pretty nicely. I'm missing every shot. But guys, trust me. I, I might look bad, but I was I was destroying this. Look at the flame. Nothing. I parry the middle. I'm in it. I'm shooting the lobs at him. I'm dodging. I'm zoned in. I've been doing this run for about two hours now. And honestly, I beat this game a lot faster than I expected. We have one HP in a dream, guys. Let me just ask you a quick question. How many tries do you think it took me to beat the devil with Lobber only? Guys, go let me know in the comments real quick before you continue watching this video, okay? Is it first try, second try, third try, fourth try, fifth try, sixth try? I don't know, but check this out. We are going in on the devil right now. We can't miss because the target's just so big. I'm using my EXs. I'm using my Lobber. I'm hitting his eyeballs. I'm destroying his minions. It's all going pretty well so far. We're, we're clobbering this. This isn't going to be hard at all, right? No, I wasn't paying attention. All right, you know, maybe we just got to pay attention because, you know, I'm reading my Twitch chat and stuff like that. Sometimes I look away. But check it out. We make it to the final phase. This is where I beat him. This is it. I know it. I messed up. That sucks. Wow. I went underneath the platform. I jumped way too early. That's tough. All right, guys, we made it to the final phase once again. Let's see if this is the attempt. I'm shooting my lob. I'm hitting him with the eyeball. I take some damage, but we're all good. Let's see what happens. Hey, there we go. The devil has been finished. That didn't take long at all. We beat the whole game in under two hours with lobber only. Not bad. Not bad. And that Mugman Nation is me beating the entire game with Lobber. All in all, it took me about two hours. I think I'm going to start showing my death count in these challenges because why the heck not? Once again, guys, thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe for me, guys. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash underscore ching. I love you all. Bye, 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 bye.